NFT is probably the most used term nowadays, but what is actually an NFT? How does it work and how you can create one? This video will answer all your questions, but before we start, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and keep watching for more amazing videos. Now, let's get started. Let's get ready to rumble. So, what is an NFT or non-fungible token? They're actually a form of digital assets that can be bought using cryptocurrencies. NFTs include almost everything from art, music, gaming, and even tweets and memes. Just like physical forms of arts, NFTs are also accepted as value-holding investments. Caleb, are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? The most important thing is, these assets cannot be exchanged because there is only one original copy of every NFT. 2. How do NFTs work? NFTs exist on the Ethereum blockchain and they store extra information that makes them valuable. Like I said earlier, NFTs are traded in the same way as physical art. Similar to physical commodities, the availability and demand set the value of NFT. You might be thinking, why can't I just download and make a copy? Well, of course you can, but that won't hold the same value. Because their original information and data that is on the Ethereum blockchain won't be available in your downloaded file, making it almost worthless. Once you buy an NFT, its ownership rights are transferred in your name, and there can only be one owner of a specific piece at a time. 3. How NFT is different from cryptocurrency Both cryptocurrencies and NFTs are created with similar programming, but what makes them different? Cryptocurrency is just like a physical currency that can be exchanged for goods or some other form of currency, which means it's fungible. NFTs, on the other hand, cannot be exchanged for anything because nothing holds a similar value, making them non-fungible tokens. You cannot sell a meme in exchange for a music piece, although both are NFTs. Actually, every NFT contains a distinct code or digital signature that makes it unique and irreplaceable. 4. What is NFT used for? NFTs have changed the game for artists and other content creators. Now, they have the opportunity to sell their work for way higher rates, plus the artists don't have to wait for months for an exhibition to showcase their work to the world. The art pieces can now be sold as NFTs directly to the consumers. Why NFTs are more profitable than physical art? If you sell your work as NFT, you don't have to pay a fixed commission to organizers of the workshops and exhibitions. And NFTs can make reoccurring money through royalty, as artists get a share every time an NFT is resold. 5. Why is NFT important? For anyone who wants to make more money by selling their digital work or searching for a new asset class to invest in, NFTs are the best way to go. It has widened the horizon for digital trade and now everyone can easily put their work for sale even if it's just a meme or tweet. Their increasing popularity has convinced many artists to sell their work as NFT instead of regular physical pieces and now more and more creative people are joining in. 6. Where to buy NFTs If you want to buy NFTs, you will need a digital wallet containing cryptocurrencies. There are multiple platforms like PayPal, eToro, Kraken, or Robinhood where you can buy cryptocurrencies with the help of your credit card and get it converted to a similar base currency as required by the selling platform. Before you use any of these platforms, make sure to check if there are any hidden charges or not because some charge extra costs in terms of gas fees and conversion fees. Some sites offer better rates than others, so check that out as well. The next step is to search for the NFT platforms where you can buy your desired piece. There are several platforms with each having its own specifications and categories. The following are some of the NFT marketplaces with a higher number of NFT collectors and creators. Some popular NFT marketplaces with rich collections include Foundation, OpenSea.io, and Rarible. 7. How to Sell NFTs There are multiple online platforms like Foundation or OpenSea where you can easily sell your digital art in the form of NFT. 
Each of these marketplaces has different procedures, so you would need to perform research to choose a less complicated one. After finalizing the platform, simply upload your art, follow the mentioned instructions, and convert it into NFT. You can also write a short description and set up your desired price. 8. Who uses NFTs? NFT is a rapidly expanding market and people from different walks of life are gradually joining in. At first, it started with artists, gamers and brands who wanted to share their work with others. But it gained more popularity and it has now given more opportunities to individuals as well as organizations. Now, brands are using the NFTs for building another revenue system for their business. For instance, NBA sold its digital assets as trading cards containing moments of basketball players. NFTs are not limited to artwork or short video or audio clips. Most recently, a digital home named as Mars Home was also sold as NFT on the platform Super Rare, who called it as the first digital house in the world. Here's an interesting thing. Did you know that Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey has recently sold his first ever tweet as an NFT? 9. Can NFTs make you a good profit? This is one of the most key questions when it comes to investing in NFT, as it's a fairly new concept with not a lot of data to prove the course of its performance or how it will progress in the future, it's a bit uncertain asset class to invest in. Another thing is the value of NFT is not determined by economic or fundamental indicators, like in the case of physical assets. Instead, it is purely based on how much buyers are willing to pay for owning it. As the price is entirely determined by the buyers, the owners might be forced to resell it at a lower price than what they paid. Moreover, NFTs are not free from the tax net because they are considered collectibles. 10. What are the risks of investing in NFTs? Like I said earlier, the future of NFTs is a bit uncertain at the moment. With not a lot of information and analysis available, one must invest wisely in NFTs. Although NFTs are being sold at higher prices at the moment because they're in demand, but it can go downhill if people lose interest in buying them. As every step of the trade happens online, there are chances you might not get the original work or get deceived by a fake seller. In order to minimize this risk, you must perform in-depth research on different NFT platforms to determine their credibility. For now, no one has the information about how long NFTs will stay in the market. Although it's at a peak at the moment, but if people's focus again changes to physical assets, NFTs might have to face a setback. 11. Why NFTs are so controversial NFTs are generating a lot of money these days, but still, there are many controversies surrounding these popular digital assets. The most crucial concern is the effect it might have on climate. Some of you might be thinking, what does it have to do with climate as everything is digital, right? Although they are online, the creation, storage, and security of an NFT requires a lot of energy. This is the main reason holding back many brands and organizations from joining NFT platforms. NFTs are being sold at millions of dollars, so many people think it's only for the rich investors. 12. Can you create your own NFT? By looking at how much price you can make by selling a single digital art, many of you might be thinking, why not create your own NFT? It's not actually that difficult as you might think, you just have to pick whether you want to create a unique GIF, a music clip, or an image. After finalizing the piece you want to sell, you have to list it on different platforms, but keep in mind some of these platforms ask for money for listing your NFT. If you don't want to pay that initial cost, go for the platform OpenSea. Once you sign up on any of these platforms, you will have to fill out certain details and then upload your item. Once you've uploaded your art, you have successfully created your own NFT. 13. Why are NFTs so expensive? The answer is simple, because it's popular and everyone is trying to get their hands on at least one of these digital art pieces. And now, as many celebrities and artists are joining the platform, prices are going even higher. Remember the famous Disaster Girl meme? It was sold as NFT for $473,000. 14. Most Famous NFTs of 2021 As per Google, 
These three NFTs were the most searched ones this year. First of all, in the first tweet by Dorsey, which was published in 2006 and read, Just setting up my Twitter. This was put up by Dorsey to collect money for the charity and was sold for $2.9 million. Hashmarks It's a collectible NFT created by more than 70 artists and is made up of 16,384 unique digital pieces and was sold for $16 million. And the popular Doge meme that was sold for $4 million. 15. Most Expensive NFTs Ever Sold the credit for the most expensive NFT ever sold goes to American digital artist Beeple's Digital Collage. His artwork, which comprised of 5,000 small pieces, was sold for $69.3 million. I hope this video has answered most of your queries related to NFTs. Want to share any other information? Write down in the comment section below and keep watching for more videos.